This video is sponsored by Big Daddy Unlimited. They have a subscription package that can save the outdoor enthusiast a lot of dough. Here's how it works. You sign up for a 30-day trial membership for just 99 cents and you'll have access to their complete online inventory. After 30 days and you want to keep it going, it's just $9.95 a month. Check them out at BigDaddyUnlimited.com. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range. Now today we're going to do a range comparison with the Taurus G3C versus the Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact. Both great carry guns. The Taurus has a 3.2 inch barrel, the Canik a 3.6 inch barrel, and you can see that the slide's a bit longer with the Canik. Both are considered budget handguns. They offer quite a bit, actually. Let's start with the G3C. A lot of people love it. They say the G2C, the G3C are great handguns. They carry them. The G3C comes with three 12 round magazines. It does have a thumb safety right there, front serrations, a rail for accessories, a Glock interchangeable rear sight and front sight, actually. A, a front dot, black serrated rear sight, is metal, nice ergonomic feel to it. A Tetifer finish on the slide, MSRP $340. And what I like about the G3C is that it has a wider trigger bar safety. So among the pull there, you're looking at four and a half pounds with the reset right there. Very well known handgun, a lot of people love it. They now make a Toro model that is optic ready. This one is not MSRP, 340 bucks. Let's go ahead and take a few shots. Yeah, nice shooting handgun. I fired steel case, of course hollow points, everything through it. It's always performed fine for me. And I very much appreciate the G3C for what it is, and that is budget price. This gets a lot of people into the shooting world. Also has a sight hole indicator right up top of the slide. But now we've got the Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact. And a lot of people love Canik. Now, what makes this super cool is that it is optic ready. It goes about $100 more, $440. Already mentioned a 3.6 inch barrel. It's an ambidextrous gun with the slide stop on both sides, making it left-handed friendly. The magazine release is on the left side. It can be switched over. Comes with a 12 and 15 round magazine and a pick rail right there, front serrations, black serrated rear sights, a dot in the front, has a striker fire indicator there, a loaded chamber indicator bar, and a five pound trigger pull, which is very nice and a very short reset. A lot of people love the Canik triggers. I love the Canik triggers. And this is Canik's smallest handgun. So it goes about $100 more, little longer slide. You're looking at 30 and a quarter ounces loaded with 13 rounds. The G3C is 27 and a quarter. So three ounces heavier with the Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact. Let's go ahead and take a few shots with this handgun. All right, I, I appreciate both of them. When I do these range reviews, I want to know which one would you choose? Would you go with the Taurus G3C or the Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact? If I had to choose one, I would go with the Canik. That's not to say I don't appreciate the G3C for what it is. I think it's a, a great handgun and I know a lot of people love it but I, I enjoy shooting this a little more probably because it's a bit larger makes it a little more comfortable at the range if i was going to carry i'd take the three ounces lighter g3c a little shorter barrel and it, it, it is a nice carry gun i know a lot of people carry this with confidence and, and they love it and they say they have no plans to change that but i i like both these guns for what they are they're both fine handguns. I thought it would make a very nice comparison and get the conversation started with, with which one you would choose, actually, because I, uh, I made my choice. Now I want to know what you think. 
If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.